Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is the middle of August, and I feel like a lot of us go on vacation in August, so I thought it would be the perfect time to walk you through my travel makeup. There are some bits of makeup that I just honestly can't live without. So I kind of dipped in during the week and consequently I did forget some items. So I'm glad I'm filming this video. Glad that I made a list of all the things that I need to restock in this bag because the end of August, Mike and I are gonna be traveling a bunch between our North Jersey and South Jersey homes. This makeup in this room at the beach house is very much my vibe when I'm down here. I either keep it very minimalist, so I'll use a little bit of concealer all over the face with some blush and some bronzer, or when I wanna step it up, but I wanna keep that kind of laid back summertime vibe, go for this kind of like smudgy, smoky eye, kind of like sultry, undone makeup, which we're gonna go over today because obviously how I created this makeup look was using all the products in this bag. I don't have a vanity here where I just leave my makeup. So I do bring this back and forth with me. And aside from the few bits and bobs that I forgot at home, I really think I have it down to a science. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just hop right into the video. Okay, so I recently bought this bag on Amazon and I was looking at my channel and I don't think I've uploaded a travel makeup video in like over a year. I think I maybe did it like two summers ago. So there are a lot of very, very different things in this bag. Also, you know that I have used many different makeup bags throughout my life. And honestly, I've loved each and every one of them, but my preferences change. I had a really big pink one that I loved because it was just kind of like a bucket bag and it was great for me. But now that we're like in the midst of the summer, I just want to be more like lightweight when I'm throwing things in and out of my bag. This just works for me because it takes up much less space. It has a lot of compartments inside. So while it is kind of like a throw it in your bag and go, vibe. It does have a little bit of organization, which I'm going to show you. I'll show you what it looks like when it's empty, but essentially I just unzip the top and this is what it looks like when I open it. And typically at the beach house, I will lay out all of my components within my makeup bag on the sink in the bathroom and do my makeup. Or a lot of the times, honestly, I'll get ready at the kitchen table and I'll have my little light um, my Ricky Loves Ricky mirror that lights up and I'll just sit in Zen, have a cup of coffee, have a glass of wine, whatever time of day it is, you know, depending, and do my makeup. So this is what it looks like. I've talked about these so many times. I bought this on Amazon. Again, I will link everything that I can possibly link down below. But I bought these kind of like silicone brush holders. Now I bought these, one, because it helps to keep your brushes organized. It has a magnetic closure. It helps to keep them organized, but it also helps to make sure that your brushes don't dirty the inside of your bag. And then inside I have this brush. This is a Farah. I really love their brushes. 860F and I use this to contour my face. We'll get to my contour palette that I keep in this bag 24 seven in just a moment, but it's just a really nice kind of like tapered but fluffy brush. And I really like it because I have a smaller face too. So it helps to really hug where I need it to hug. I love this Real Techniques brush. This is the RT200. It's just like a little fat, dense brush. You can use this for foundation, for anything, um, but I personally really like it for contour, just holding it and keeping it in the back. My favorite brush for cream bronzer. Oh, this is cream contour. This is a cream contour brush. That's how I use it. Again, you don't have to use things how I use them. That's just how I like them. And then for cream bronzer, this is my favorite brush. I talked about this so many times, but this is the Yensa. I don't know what it is, but I will put it down below. And it's just like perfect brush to just like buff and blend that cream bronzer into your skin. Ooh, it's so good. And then last but not least, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because this is discontinued, but let me tell you something. I've tried so many brushes for my cream blush and nothing does it for me like this brush. This is from Crown. Again, it's discontinued, but it's just like this fat, floofy brush. And oh my God, it's just like divine. It's divine. I can't, and I'm sorry to tease you because you can't get it. And those are all the brushes that I keep in this little holder. Now, I do have another thing, another little thing of brushes. I think Charlotte Tilbury does sell this. However, I got this when I went to a Charlotte Tilbury event. I gave out these little velvet cases and then inside I have a big brush right here, which I use for my powder blush. 
and then it comes with three kind of like eye brushes guys I keep it very simple it might look like I did a lot with the eyes but I really really didn't I'll walk you through what I did when we get to the eye section but it comes with a little fluffy brush like this so I just use this to put a little crease shade into the crease and then I use this always to just add a little bit of brightness to the inner corner underneath the brow bone it's kind of just like a pencil brush like so out of all the brushes that come in this little Charlotte Tilbury to go travel pack this one is my favorite very skinny brush it's so tiny can you see how tiny it is I love this for when I don't want to use eyeliner I'll just take a black or a dark brown and I kind of just use this to smudge the waterline to give my eyes a little bit more depth today I went in and I used a coal liner and then I used this guy to kind of smoke it out and give it a more like sultry again undone kind of feel I love this so handy so useful large compartment right here that has a see-through flap which I love I love things see-through I always say like despite this not being a clear see-through bag if you can buy a clear see-through kind of makeup bag I think it's great had I had a clear bag I would have noticed that I didn't have a concealer today I didn't have a couple things today which again I will mention as we go on and then it has two other compartments two separate sections these are just like cloth very handy so in the one section right here I like to keep my kind of like pre makeup necessities so I have some eye drops this really cute bright pink tweezer I just use these to pluck my eyebrows these are from tweezer guru I got them on Amazon you know I'll link them and then the Charlotte Tilbury cryo recovery eye serum I really really like this it's just it gives me like a self-care self-love moment and has this kind of like metal and I just use it to massage the cream in and around my eyes and then I let it sit for a little bit and then I blend it out with the warmth of my finger I really let it soak into the skin I also have a little lip balm I like this it's not the best I prefer my Laneige lip sleeping mask but this is the Acar skin pure lip treatment I just like to put this on before I start my makeup this way my lips are nice and hydrated and juicy by the time that I get to them last but not least in this little section I have these little hair clips that I bought on Amazon I think they come in a set of six so I literally just I have them in my vanity I put a set in here I will fluff my hair up like this in the car just see I give it a little bit of bounce I'll fluff my hair up before we leave I'll spray my hair let it sit like this in the car going to whatever destination we're going to unclip my hair so that it gives a little bit of a bounce up top so these are a lot handier than I thought they were gonna be and I'm glad that I bought them. In the other little section up top here, I like to keep all of my eye accessories aside from my eyeshadow. I love the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I've become such a big fan. A few years ago, if you had asked me if they were worth it, I would say no, but again, these play a really big role in this kind of like sultry smudgy look today i used amethyst which is this really beautiful purpley brown taupey shade i used this all over my lid and then i just smudged it out with my finger really good base for eyeshadow as well so i don't use an eyeshadow primer but i like to use a cream shadow as a primer because if you think about it cream grips onto powder so if i put the cream down and then i put a powder eyeshadow over top it's really going to stick to the cream and it's going to last all day long which is great especially in august when it's hot and humid and just sticky so again that's the shade amethyst which i use today this is probably my one of my favorite ones honestly this is strapless it's kind of just like a coppery shade can you see how the light just reflects off of it very beautiful easy this is really great for when i don't feel like putting any makeup on i'll just draw this on the lid again smudge it out with my finger throw a little bit of mascara on put like a gloss on and call it a day i'm very low maintenance in the summer for mascara i don't know i'm kind of like on the fence about this Jiga black by mac i like it for my lower lashes like you can see it kind of gives that like doll like kind of like cluster effect it is really beautiful i don't like the smell and i don't know if you can see but there is a little bit of transfer underneath my eyes so i just feel like it's not like the best mascara for the summer heat but here is the wand it's just very tight compact again really perfect for the lower lash line but i think i'm going to take it out because i just feel like it's not again it's not really like a summer mascara things are transferring onto my eye and i'm just thinking that this would be better for at home when it's a little cooler like at night when i'm going out to dinner and I, i'm going to be an air conditioner not like when i'm coming to the beach house and i'm going to be hot and sweaty and outside and like doing all of 
you know, doing all of the things. This is a travel size of the Maybelline Sky High. I really like it. It makes my lashes wispy. I don't like a falsy eyelash. I like lashes that look like mine, but like longer and separated and just like whimsical. They're like whimsical lashes. The wand that it comes with. This is my brow gel. I live for a brow gel. I love a brow gel. I just think there's something so easy peasy about a brow gel, especially in the summer. This is my favorite one. It's less than four dollars, but this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. It has filling fibers in it, and I use the shade Soft Brownie Brows. It's really beautiful. However, I did forget my brow pencil, which is something that I need to add to this little bag when I get home. I'm really loving the Araceli Bebe Brow Pencil. I'll put it down below, but it's really nice. But for me, like my brows, and I say this all the time, are very distant cousin brows. So this brow doesn't come in as far as this one. This one sits up higher. So I kind of just like a brow pencil to help kind of perfect them. Not perfect. I'm fine with them not being perfect. I'm honestly fine with them like this, but if I just have a little pencil moment where I can help and kind of make them a little bit more similar than they are, like that's just something that I like to do. However, not something that I do every day, but again, I would like to have the option. Moving on to the other side pocket, the clear pocket, it's like a long pocket again. I will definitely show you, but I have my little Amazon powder puff. I love these. These are like the best puffs I've ever used and they're super cheap and it comes in a pack of six. So I literally have one in my handbag. I have one in this travel case. I have one in my vanity. They're just so good. They have a little like holder, so cute. And you can like really get in there to kind of just straighten out the nose contour, clean up under the eyes, bake and everything else. And I use that with my powder, which we'll get to my powder in a moment because that's in the center part of my bag. A pencil sharpener, which I like to put it in this clear one because if it does kind of like get out of the components, I don't have to worry about it staining the entire pocket uh, because I can wipe off the plastic pretty easily. Pencils, I have a lip pencil. This is probably like my most used lip pencil. I would say my favorite lip pencil at the moment. And honestly, every time I use it, I think like, oh my God, this is my favorite because it's so, so good. I'm really loving the Koki retractable lip liner in Dusty, but this is a really good everyday shade and it's small. So that's why I decided to throw it in here. But this is Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Iconic Nude. But again, it's just a really good everyday lip liner that goes with endless amounts of lipsticks. I actually put a lip on today and I have my little like Louis Vuitton pochette that I take with me everywhere. So that's in my work bag today because I literally take it from one bag to the, to the next, to the next. Whatever bag I'm using, I throw it in. So I used the MAC Boldly Bear. And let me say, before I just say that the color didn't look good with this makeup, whenever I use a MAC lip liner after not using MAC for a long time, like hands down, MAC makes my favorite formulation of lip liner. I was fooled for a moment and I thought the Anastasia Beverly Hills one was better than that, but it's not. Like MAC just hands down the formula, the glide. The fact that it takes me like five seconds to throw on a liner, like I just, I, there's nothing like MAC lip liners and I stand behind that. However, in the same sense, there's nothing like this iconic nude shade. I wish MAC would just like copy. Like, can we just do that? I don't know if that's legal. Everyone copies everyone. And I love Charlotte Tilbury and I'm a big fan of hers, but I gotta say, like I'm kind of getting annoyed with me posting the Charlotte Tilbury content because I own a lot of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. But every time I post something, like the Instagram, Charlotte Tilbury's Instagram will comment on my video and be like, have you checked out our latest products? And it's like, no, I'm trying to be creative and pump out some content here. Like offer to put me on the PR list, Charlotte. Don't ask me to buy more of your things. Like I'm supporting you enough. It's just a little rude. So let's, uh, Mac, let's copy. Iconic Nude lip liner, cause that would be the best lip liner. And I think it would sell out in a hot minute because while I love the shade, I don't love Charlotte Tilbury's formula. I just don't. It kind of like builds upon itself. It's too creamy. It's just a little difficult. And I need to like take an extra like 20 seconds to perfect my lips. And if I don't need to use an extra 20 seconds of my time, like I love that. Put this lipstick on today with the MAC Boldly Bear and I, it just wasn't a lip for this look. I needed something that was a little bit more muted, a little bit more nude. It was just too bright. But when I tell you that this is the lipstick that I just have been consistently and constantly reaching for lately, this is the Yensa lipstick in Free Spirit. It's a silk lipstick. First of all, I love the bullet because you push it out like that. Very cool. And then you have this very, very beautiful like light baby pink. It is like a Barbie 
pink lipstick. It just really didn't go with this vibe. It's like too daytime. My makeup is, I would say it's like a neutral. It's not really daytime, it's not really nighttime. It's something you could wear all day long. So I think I needed a lip that kind of gave the same vibe, like could be daytime, nighttime, just a good nude. So on my lips today, I used the Iconic Nude Lip Liner, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, and then I put a little bit of the KKW lipstick in the middle. So Charlotte, stop bothering me to buy your things. I practically own everything. Just thank me. Just thank me for talking about you. That's all I want. Here is Pillow Talk. So I had this in my pouchette, like I said, and then I decided that I'm just gonna keep it in this bag because I actually own quite a few of Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk lipsticks. I love the shade. There's nothing like this shade. It is the perfect shade for daytime, nighttime, and any other time in between. So I am gonna keep her in here. And then for eyeliner, I've been really loving the Honey Bee Gardens eyeliner. So freaking good. Jet Set, which is this very matte black. It's so pretty. It's so creamy. Very matte, which I like. Very pigmented, which I love. And it stays beautifully in the waterline. So again, I kind of just like put a, I didn't draw a wing. I kind of just went over my lash line with this eyeliner. And then I went in with that little brush that I showed you and kind of just smudged it out on the upper lid, on the lower lid. And it's just, it's a really good, it's a really good eyeliner. And honestly, I'm gonna add their brown to this bag because I just, I love a brown eyeliner. And if, if my brown was in this bag, which it is not, but it will be. Um, if the brown was in here, I would have chosen the brown over this just because I like a brown eyeliner. I just think it's more forgiving. It's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more versatile in my opinion. And then I love a glitter. Y'all know if you keep up with my videos, especially on Instagram, like in the summer, I love easy breezy makeup and I love a bright kind of just glitter. Throw on my lid, throw a little bit of mascara on and done. It's kind of just as easy, if not easier than a cream shadow. But this is my favorite glitter that I've ever used. This is the Spotlight Glitz by Artist Couture and it is their Diamonds Light Finisher. You've seen this a lot. I don't wanna swatch it on my hand because it's literally gonna get everywhere, but it's just like this beautiful kind of like rosy or like a rose gold glitter tone. Okay, and that is everything in that section. Now let's get to the heart of my makeup bag. I forgot my concealer today, but the concealer that I've been loving is the Dior. I don't know, I'll put it down below, but I forgot my concealer. So what I did was I used this foundation. Now, I love this foundation. Do I love other foundations more than this foundation? Yes, but truth be told, I bring this with me whenever Mike and I come down the shore or go anywhere for that matter, because Mike always says that my skin looks great when I wear this and I don't know like I wear makeup for myself but you know when my husband says like oh your skin looks great and then other times when I wear my favorite foundations like and he's like oh your face looks cakey when I'm spending time with him because anywhere that I travel 99.9% .9 of the time I'm with him like I want to wear a foundation where he thinks my skin looks good so that's why I use this this is the beauty blender bounce skin tint I love this I don't love that it's in this glass bottle which is why I don't think this is like the most ideal kind of foundation to bring with you when traveling back and forth because it is pretty heavy. I would personally recommend like a pump tube, kind of like the um, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which it's not glass. It's just like a plastic tube. It's long, but it's very lightweight. So I would recommend bringing something like that. But for the reasons said prior, that's why I use this. But today I did use this along with my Beauty Blender, which I cleaned and is now drying on the windowsill, but I bought this little case for it and it matches the brush case. So I just pop it in here and I like that it has little holes so that it will let my sponge breathe. So I kind of just applied this all over my face with my beauty blender. And then I took a little bit extra and I put it underneath my eyes because again, I don't have concealer, which honestly might be the reason why my mascara is transferring. I don't know, TBD, I'll keep you posted. So this is my foundation for the day and it was also my concealer. And then I like to go in with contour. So I really like this palette just because it's a two in one, although I did bring another palette. So don't follow my lead. You could just take this and not a contour palette, but this is the Patrick Ta for face in She Sculpted. You guys have seen this so many times. It has the cream contour up top and then it has powder bronzer. So I didn't use the powder bronzer today. What I did was I took the cream contour and I'll show you the brushes that I use with all these things just because I can't expect you to remember it all. So I went into the cream contour with my Real Techniques brush 
and I just kind of like patted this into my cheeks to give that kind of like sculpted look. I narrowed my forehead, I chiseled my jawline, and then that's it. I'm done with this. I could go in with the bronzer. I didn't today though, like I said, but if you just want to keep it to this one palette, because I did bring this Dior contour palette. So if you didn't want to bring the two and you just wanted to bring the one, which I, I've done before, I would just take this brush, Farrah brush that I mentioned before, take this, go over all the places that I put the contour and call it a day. Because I did not do that. What I did was I took this Dior palette. I love this palette. But honestly, I use this palette for my face. Like I use this one shade for my face. I use this as contour. And then this I often use. I often use these three as eyeshadow. This is supposed to be a highlight, but it just translates a little bit too dark on my skin. I don't know. But so I went in here, I took this shade and I just kind of went like that. And I used that as my contour, my powder contour to set the Patrick Ta cream contour. I love to go in with a bronzer. So I really like this. This is very, very pigmented though. You've been forewarned. So this is the NARS Laguna bronzer. It is a beautiful cream bronzer. And again, the brush that I use with it is the Yensa. So I kind of just go over top of all the places that I put the contour, but I'm not as precise. So I'll put the contour on my hairline, the Patrick Ta contour that I just talked about. And then I'll go in with this and I'll kind of just like pat it more liberally because contour is supposed to act like a shadow whereas bronzer is supposed to warm up your complexion. So you don't need to be as precise with it. Kind of just take over more surface area with a bronzer than you do with a contour. If you have questions, leave them down below. I would love to make a video to kind of address the difference between the two, but maybe you know it and so I don't have to do it. Last for complexion, I use the Patrick Ta. I like to use cream products and then set them with powder. That's kind of just my vibe. It helps to make your makeup last longer, especially in the summer, warmer months. And also it looks great in photography, not that I'm taking photos. I honestly just do it now because it's hot and like my makeup will move if I don't kind of like layer the makeup as such. So cream and then think of powder products as like the top coat of your makeup, of your nail polish. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I love, love, love this shade. This is Patrick Ta and She's Seductive. It's just, such a beautiful color and I apply this with that Charlotte Tilbury brush. I love this. I'll dip in here. I pat it like that. I pat it like this and then I go over my nose just to give it that little like sun-kissed kind of like faux sunburn because we don't want a sunburn look. Highly recommend this blush. Probably my favorite blush. I should have mentioned this first, but I do lay down a cream blush before putting down the Patrick Ta blush. I do go through phases, but I have to say all the cream blushes that I own, I love and adore so, so much. So this is the Merit Beauty in the shade Stockholm. And it's just this very, very beautiful, summery, light pink, almost like bubblegum pink shade so i lay this down i do not draw on my face i just don't like that i feel like you have more control when you pick this up with a brush again is discontinued pat 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 and then again i set the cream blush with the powder patrick ta i should have went in order so i do apologize if this is confusing but again let me know if you want an explanation if you want a breakdown if you want a step by step but you can also just watch any of my tutorial videos and you will see that layering. I, I always do that layering. For powder, I'm really loving my Givenchy Prism Libre, but I have to say my, this one just will always have my heart. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is a small travel size. I love her. I'm not gonna open her because she does floof everywhere. But again, I use this with the puff and I'll just use this to kind of like set my under eyes. Again, perfect the nose contour and just pat, pat, pat take away any shine, especially after I eat. So I did my makeup and then Mike and I picked up lunch and I had like a big sandwich and my makeup just got to be a mess. So what I did was I went in here, I picked up some powder and I just kind of like cleaned up around my mouth because I'm a messy eater, but also like this is life and I don't care. The old me would have made sure that I sat down and filmed this video before I ate, but you know, life's too short and I have things to do and I just don't care anymore. So that's how I fix it in case you need to fix your face after you eat. We are almost there. So last for face, I would say, is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. It is such a beautiful spray. I love that it has this mini size so I can just throw her in and out. It smells really nice. It has a very light scent. Again, a really beautiful spray. 
This is a very light scent. It's like a clean scent. It's very luxurious. If Charlotte came out with a continuous can of this, I would just eat this up. But the fact that the Morphe is just a continuous mist as you press the top, I think that Morphe will always have my heart, but I'm really, really, really enjoying this formula at this moment. And then for eyes, this is discontinued. I don't think that you're gonna be able to find this, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but honestly, this is my all time favorite eyeshadow palette. And I say it all the time, but like NARS, I curse you. I love you, I love you, but I curse you because it's not fair that everything that you come out with is limited edition. But this again is the NARS Wanted palette. It just has those like really nice kind of like orangey browns. It has beautiful shimmers, a nice matte white, brown, ruby toned. It's just, it's so good. So today, again, I used that cream shadow stick from Laura Mercier. And then I went in with this kind of like metallic-y, almost like rustic brownish red on my finger. And I set the cream eyeshadow with this and it kind of just gave this like dark, again, smudgy, smoky eye kind of look. And then for the crease, I went in with this orangey brown. I did a pop of this and then a pop of this more neutral brown. And I just used that to kind of define the crease and then do the lower lash line. And I used this white for the inner corner and underneath my brow bone as well. And those were the shades that I used. So I used this all over the lid. I used these two in the crease. I used this in the inner corner and the brow bone. And those are all the shades that I used. And then last but not least, I love my Tweezerman eyelash curler. I don't go anywhere without an eyelash curler. I own like four of these. I keep so many of them in so many different places, but this is the kind of like gunmetal color that lives in my travel bag. Now that everything is out of here. Oh, it says idealistic flowers. I don't know why. I don't even think that's the name of the brand, but that's what it says on here. So. This is what it looks like with nothing in it. It has a zipper, you open it. Again, this side has that kind of like clear plastic, the length of the whole bag. So it's like a nice little side pocket. It has plastic in the front. And then again, on this side, the opposite side, it has two of those kind of side pockets. So again, I will list this down below and that's it. Those are all of my travel products. Oh, I did write down somewhere the things that I wanna pack. So I do wanna mention them. I need a dust away brush. So when I go ahead and powder my under eyes, I like a big clean fluffy to just get rid of any of the excess bake. So I definitely need that. Again, I need my doer concealer. I need a brow pencil. Again, I think I'm gonna use the Araceli one. And then I would like to grab a gloss. Which gloss? I'm not sure. I'll probably grab the Fenty Beauty one just because I have so many of them and I would like to get through them. That is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, like what is your one makeup must have with you at all times like what do you not leave the home without whether it's a lip product an eye product anything i would love to hear if you think that my bag needs an addition let me know because i would love to add it and let me know if you're going anywhere this this month at all or let me know what your travel plans are for the rest of the year i would love to hear them and i would love to help you pack so i love you guys so much if you're not yet subscribed be sure to do so and i genuinely hope to see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.